Hello, my name is Eduardo and today I am here with a tutorial for App Inventor and well this is live okay. Well guys this is the first thing that the first time that I do this thing and it is funny because I was recording a, this tutorial but I forgot to press the play button okay so and um, so I decided to make it this just like um a live okay a live video okay so I will show you use the procedure to make this thing for today. Basically Today we are going to work with collision. If you check, I just change. Uh, it is not like perfect. Uh, sorry, it's because I just moved some things. We are going to check detecting the center and the other sides of uh, of the paddle. Sorry if this is quite slow for you because my connection is not very fast. But then you can watch the video, the full video. So well, the first thing it is just to check here, and we're going to make some procedures, okay, to make the detection. So I have also a file for you. So just to detect this thing, I cannot see the detection right now because I just disabled the block. And now, if you check in uh, the top part, we have something like that is detecting the center if it's like colliding with the right side, the left side or the center of the paddle well that is for today so let's start with that thing so well let's go here and uh, let's start working with this so I have as I told you I have the file that I will share with you okay happily if this video gets to 20 likes well I don't think so but if, if, if so I will give you that well let's start this is the procedure and I will just disable this thing because I will show you how to do it so everything in here it has been like just modify some values just to arrange these blocks like this so first I just give some space from here to the 2% and then I just give some space in here I did this in the make uh, line one, make line two, make line two. I add this space, okay, vertically and also horizontally, and then finally for the make line three. But don't worry, this is in the previous video. You have the arrange. You can work with that arrangement, okay. And I make this paddle a little bit bigger just for this tutorial. Well, so I guess we are almost ready so uh, let's start so well the first thing that we are going to do it is to create a procedure so with this procedure we are going to see um, the we are going to check the collision so well let me see here we have this procedure let me just collapse this one because we are not going to use it anymore so that's it so now uh, and also I will remove the sound and that's it now let's start making here procedure here we go and we just add here the name Colli colliding with paddle well to check to check if I am colliding with this part or the center or this part to do that we are going to add some if conditions the first thing we are going to check the left side of the paddle to do that we are going to make first if and we need to check the position first of the ball to do that we are going to go here to the ball we are going to add a x thing and then a plus so the position of it's radius times two so that these are like its limits so let's duplicate this one and to radius and then times two well I know this uh, now better because I have done this like two times because I forgot to press the record now if this if the position of the ball is uh, minor or less than let's stop just the ball because the ball it's quite moving a lot so and let's see what's happening just give me a second so 
so and I'm sorry if this is quite slow for you but um, as I told you it is because of my connection so now let's go here and let's just stop this thing and let's set it to zero so the speaker it will be zero so we are not going to move the ball also we are going to drag the ball here we are going to so the x and y using the current position just to check okay the collision so the first thing if the position of the ball it is in this area so that means that it's if we divide this in three so the left center and right that means if the position of the ball it is colliding with uh, if you divide it by three this is like the 100 divided by three it is like 10. okay so we're going to use here so in this case we are going to use here a process uh, we are going to use this so the position of the paddle okay so we go to the paddles x position plus the 33 percent so the position is here in this corner okay upper left corner so plus the 33 percent of the width it is in here so plus we duplicate this one and then we set this to width times the 33 percent so to get the percent it is 0 0.33 and that's it now to check if this is working or not okay i'm going to add here screen and then we're going to go here to screen title and then we are going to add here for the text uh, if we have collision please just tell me if we are colliding with left side so now we are going to insert this procedure that is colliding with paddle here in balls collide and we can add the sound right now if the ball collides with paddle so if other equals to paddle we are going to play the sound and use this procedure that right now if it's colliding with this area it will display the mesh the message left side so now we can drag the ball because we just uh, put it drag mm -hmm. and we are going to check here oh sorry we need to remove something here that is the paddle dragging so we are not going to drag the paddle right now so now i have collision I have collision I have collision because in this case if I have collision with paddle it will play a sound so I don't want to play the sound anytime we have collision just if we meet uh, or met this condition so now no collision no collision oh and we have an ad we have collision with this side now this side is not making collision okay so for the right side we are going to do something similar we're going to add here an LCF we duplicate this one we go here and it's quite the same but now if it's on the left side that means that it's in if the value it is bigger than two-thirds of the width of the paddle so in that case that means if the collision happens in an area that is bigger than the position in x plus the 66 percent so if it's bigger so that means from here to here we are going to have another collision and we're going to call it right side right side and we're going to play also the sound and then check the message in here left side right side we have left right left 